A Boise startup is developing technology right now that can test for COVID-19 and produce results in just minutes. But they still have some hurdles to get through before we can see that technology here in our community. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with the company's CEO and she's here now with what he had to say. Shira? Gretchen, Fassible started here in Boise last May, but what's really interesting is their technology was originally intended for hemp and CBD testing, but they reworked it when they watched the spread of COVID-19. As thousands of people across the country test and then wait to find out if they have the coronavirus, Boise startup Fassible is working to launch a possible alternative to the COVID-19 test that reduces the waiting time for results from days to minutes. Five minutes to be exact. It's not the traditional RT-PCR test, which is what most, 90% of one of them are on the market right now. Uh, it's not a serological test, meaning it's not, uh, you don't need blood for it, so we're not testing for antibodies. We're actually testing for the presence of viral uh, proteins, and it's different from anything else on the market right now as far as how fast it is and how accurate it is. But the company is facing some challenges. Being a startup, funding is always a challenge. That funding would go toward equipment as the company now lines up its clinical trials. We're launching with COVID-19 because the regulations have dropped. Uh, they don't have that year-long FDA approval process. CEO Stephen Burden says this technology can also be expanded outside of the medical field and in fact was originally intended to test CBD in plants and for roadside detection purposes when testing for THC. For the farmer in the field, our technology could work for identifying pathogens in plants. Uh, for the milk farmer or the dairy farmer, uh, antibiotics in milk. And while they still have plans to do that, it's taking a back seat to fight the coronavirus. And Stephen tells me they would like to launch the product by the beginning of June. Gretchen? All right, sure. Thanks for bringing us that story.